Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today we will be continuing our series on the flash components by demonstrating the color picker component. So to get started we're going to be creating an ActionScript 3 document. Then we're going to get out the component by going to Window, then Components, and we'll be dragging out the color picker component right here. So I'm going to be putting that in the corner here. Then I'm going to close that component window and we will be giving this an instance name of C Picker for Color Picker. So now we need something to change the color of, so I'm going to just grab a shape here and I'm going to grab the oval tool and we're going to make a circle basically to change the color of. So I have um, a black border with a white fill and then the border is three pixels. So I'm just going to hold shift and drag this out. So now that we have that I'm going to select it and you're going to want to make sure you select both the border and the, um, the fill so that you don't get it messed up. And I'm just going to try and center that there. And once I have that done, I'm going to, um, well, reselect it if you've deselected it. Keep it selected and then hit F8. And we're going to make it into a movie clip. And we'll just call it Circle. And then we're going to give it an instance name of the same thing. So we'll call it Circle. Okay. So now that we have that done, we want to single out the center because we're going to be changing the fill of this circle, not the border. So um, inside of this movie clip, we're going to double click to get inside of that. So now we have the border right here and we have the fill. And we're going to just select the fill and we're going to hit F8. And then we're just going to call that center. And it's going to be a movie clip. And then we're going to add an instance name of center. So now that we've done that, we're going to go back to the main scene. And everything now has an um, instance name and we're ready to start coding this. So we're going to open up the actions panel. And we're going to first uh, import the color picker event. So we're going to go to import and then fl.events.color picker event. Okay. Then we're going to hit semicolon, enter a couple times. And then now what we're going to do is change the color that this uh, color picker is initially at. As you'll see um, when we test the movie, it's automatically on black. And the center of the circle is white. So we want that to also match with that. So I'm going to close that, and the way we're going to do this is by selecting the, uh, by basically selecting a color. So we're going to say C Picker, and that's the instance name, dot selected color, and color needs to be capital, and I deleted the D. Selected color, space equals space, and then for a hex code in Flash, you need to have a 0x before it, and then it's going to be 6f's, and then a semicolon. So now if we do control test movie, you will see that it has changed to white as it matches the fill of the circle. So now what we're going to do is add a color transform variable um, to basically handle the transforming of the fill. So we're going to say var, and we're going to call it color info, and then a colon, and it's going to be a color transform with a capital C and T. And it should oh, transform, okay. And then space equals space, and then we're going to basically say what it's transforming. So it's going to be circle, circle, dot center, dot transform, and then dot color transform. And that's basically going to allow us to transform the color of the center of the circle. Um, and the, just so you guys know, the T on color transform is capital, so you don't miss that. So now what we're going to do is create an event listener. So we're going to say C picker that add event listener, and then an open parenthesis, and this is going to be a new event. It's going to be a like a new one for my tutorial. It's going to be a color picker event. It's got its own event style. And uh, the CP and E are all capital. And then it's going to be dot change. And that's all caps. And then a comma. And then we're going to name a function. So we're going to call it, since it's changing the color of the center, we're just going to call it color change. Close parentheses, semicolon, hit enter a couple times. And now we're going to write that function. So we're going to say function color change. And then it's going to be an event colon. And it's going to be a color picker event. Color picker event. Okay, then close uh, parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, 
enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. So now inside of this, what we need to do is um, start using that color transform variable that we made. So we're going to say color info dot color space equals space. And then we're going to basically get the selected color. So C picker dot selected color. Okay. Then we're going to hit a semicolon and then we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to take the, um, basically we just need this over again. So we're just going to take that circle dot center dot transform dot color transform. And then we're going to set that equal to whatever the color picker is. So equals and then color info and then a semicolon. So basically we're getting the color from the color picker um, by using this color info. Then we're taking and setting the fill to that color. So that should change the color of the fill. So we're going to, going to go to control test movie and make sure that this is working. So everything seems to be good. We don't have any errors. So now I'm going to try and change the color of the fill. And as you guys can see, it has worked. So that's good. See, I can change it to basically anything I want that's in that color picker, which is a pretty large variety. So this is a pretty nice uh, component to have if you're pretty much if you just want to change the color of anything. Um, I've seen it used for different drawing applications, anything pretty much that you want to use it for. It's nice. People like to have the chance to change the color of things. Um, so I hope you guys learned something about changing colors in Flash and using the color picker component. Um, don't forget, I'm going to have another uh, component tutorial tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.